There's some general settings that we're going to go over in this video of Presta Shop uh, that I'd like to show everybody who has this shop. It's good to know about. Um, the first uh, place you want to go when you get in where I like to start with the general settings is in the Preferences tab. Uh, in this tab, you'll see right here you got Enable Shop. <clears throat> if you turn this to No, it'll put your shop under construction. And what you can do is add my IP. See how I did that? That What that will do is make it to where I can see my website on my computer, but anybody else who goes and tries to see it will not be able to. Um, but I'm going to turn this back on. Uh, I can leave my IP in there. Uh, enable SSL. Uh, if you're using PayPal or something, they got the SSL. It's only for getting a security uh, certificate deal. Check IP on the cookie. Uh, this is right here, your cookie being stolen, just a security measure. I would just leave that on yes. Um, you know, lifetime front office cookies. A lot of these options are already set uh, to what the standard is, like, you know, pretty good. So you can pretty much leave all these, you know, alone. Here's a, an order process type. This is if you want it to be a one page or five steps. You could kind of take your test on that yourself and do like a checkout on your system and see uh, how user friendly you think it is. Uh, enable guest checkout. This lets people check out without re registering to be a uh, registering with your store. Um, terms of service. This right here, you know, this is where people have to agree to a terms of service. So if you don't want them to have to agree and just be able to buy, you could turn that off on, on no. Here's some different um, pages that you can use for a terms of service. If you check this to no, this just goes to null and void like that. Uh, offer gift wrapping um, if you want to offer that, but for most people, they probably don't. So you can probably check that to no, excuse me. Um, and we got, you know, gift wrapping price. I mean, you just got all these uh, recycled packaging, <clears throat> all these random things that you can you can do back here. Um, if you come keep coming down here to your time zone. So this is one area where you can kind of set up some things uh, for your preferences. Um, down here, you got your different things like appearance. Okay, your appearance, this is where you would put your logo in. So you would just click here and you would come down and, and put a logo in. Uh, um, I'll use this All Star Sports Live one. Uh, come down, we click the save button, and bam, there you go. You see that? So it just puts a new product in there. And then you also can switch up themes and stuff by down in here by switching. He's only got, there's only one in here, but if you added more themes, you would have different settings in here. So that's your, um, that's your appearance there. You get your database, uh, email, um, emails like your customer service. A lot of this stuff I'll cover in some other videos. For now, I kind of like those set with the regular settings, like the contact information over here, right here. You got we got demo store for the shop name, but you can put all your address and your email and stuff like that in here. Um, again, a lot of this stuff is real technical stuff, and and I could kind of elaborate on it more if you have questions. Uh, you could contact us at uh, twetrain at gmail .com. Um, Also, you got tools over here. This tools area is is a cool spot because you could go here and you could do a CSV import, or you could do and, and that'll be another video the CSV import but for now the CMS pages this is where you do informational pages so you could set up like a tree of categories up here or you could just create pages and these pages are down here in this section um, so you got your about us page let's say for instance you come over here and you click on this edit button here and it'll open up and this is where you can change so you got your toolbar here where you can make things bold and just like word pretty much um, you come down here and you can Type whatever info you want in this section. All this stuff here, meta description, meta keywords, just areas for you to optimize this page a little bit more. Um, this how keywords look right here. So this is where you anything you put in here is, is valid. There's no real right or wrong. You just want to write about your business. Uh, and then you come down here and you got enable or disable. If you do this, it'll be uh, the page will not be shown. If you do this, it will be live. So you do that, you click the save button. And there you go. If you want to add new pages, you could click this add a new page area right here. Now, let's say um, this is a section where you can make hundreds of pages and only make certain ones visible to the to the to the uh, end user on your website. And how you do that is after you create your pages in here, how you control them is you come up here and you go to the module section. 
and then you come down here to the front office features and you'll see in here lots of different things then you'll see some here CMS block okay so if we click this configure button or word rather and we got down here and we've got some areas like you can check this you know powered by press the shop display this footers various links and we got down here we got some check marks for terms of use and about us and privacy so these are all turned on if I were to uncheck these and just leave the about us and save well then only my about us page will be visible online so you could have hundreds of pages in here and only have two checked and only two pages two links will be shown on your website so that is in the tools section under CMS okay um, again you might have to rewind this video a little bit to check it out but that's that and then we've got our employees tab here and this is where you set up your employees for now this is our main employee in here which we have sample and test uh, if we wanted to change the password or email we just click the edit button here and we could change the name the password the email you can even change the color of your back office which is pretty cool let's say we want to pick a green okay and we come down here we got profile administrator <clears throat> logistin logistic Edition, salesman or translator so administrator pretty much has all the rules and, and rights to do everything uh, click save and what's cool is there's my back office just changed colors and if you want to add a new employee like uh, a partner or someone that's going to do some work for you you can add their name here give them their own email and login and uh, you can also make them you know just a, a, a person that does shipping is logistic uh, I can't even say that but lo logistician or you got a salesman like let's say somebody wants to log in and see the orders you can have that and then you can only you know limit their access to certain things in your shop so anyway that's how you can add new employees to your store as well as change your own password or email and then you got these little sub things down here like profiles permissions contacts these all go over like what these users can do um, one I like to look at that's important is this contacts one because uh, we have an email in here um, that for the most part um, is one that you can you know set your email to anyway that pretty much wraps up our simple part of this the simple settings of getting the shop going oh one of the thing um, if you notice on our site it had this warning uh, on a product that says that you're at running out of um, your stock is running out you know if you don't have stock management you should go in and turn that off and a great way to do that is click on pre preferences and then go to products here and then you got catalog mode which means you can put the product in catalog mode and when that happens um, nobody else will you know be able to buy they'll just be able to see the price there'll be no add to cart button so this is not in that allow out of order you know out of stock products what you want to do is just turn this right here enable stock management watch how many turn off with it see that so when you turn that a lot of things just automatically go um, and then you won't have stock management issues with warnings on your site about you running out of stock um, so that's a big thing to do and come down here and, and you know there's all kinds of different options click that save button there and then also your a lot of big thing that happens is some of these shops come in euros so if you want to change your currency you can go to payment and you can go to currencies and then you've got euro dollar pound and as you can see down here our default currency is set to euro I'm gonna go ahead and switch that to dollar and click the save button okay now when you go back to your website you might still see euros and that's only because you need to refresh your your cache in your browser or just your site needs to refresh enough in your browser to update but everybody else will be seeing dollars um, okay so that is uh, here's another thing is some vouchers if you want to uh, offer some vouchers to your customers as far as 10% off you know for a limited time you can go to vouchers click the add new button let's say we want to put a code in like free ship this could be any code you want to make up uh, I want to choose I could choose free shipping and there you go you know free shipping or I could make this like uh, a code like sale 911 and I could come down here and I could choose a discount and I can say 10% off uh, you know discount 
on all products I want. Now, here's the deal. If I only want this, this code to apply to the iPods section, I could just check all, uncheck these and just have the iPods checked. But if I wanted to apply to my whole shop, I would check up here and have them all there. Total quantity, that's how many vouchers this thing can be used. I could say I only want 100 to be used, and then the 101th, first one, I mean, <laughs> gets uh, denied. Or I could do per user. So if somebody logs in and I could tell it's the same person, they can only use it so many times. If all these are set to zero, they're pretty much turned off, which means they don't even matter. So there is no quantity. People can use it as much as they want. Um, minimum purchase, again, if they have to buy so much. And there's all these different settings. You can set a date, you know, time frame for this voucher to be good for. Um, and then your status here. If you want to turn this off, you could do that. Pretty self-explanatory stuff in here. Click the Save button. Now I've got a voucher here called Sale 911. Here we go. But I don't really, that's just for training, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Um, but that's how you do a voucher. And uh, I think I covered a lot in this video as far as general settings. Um, again, if you ever have any other questions, you can email me at sales at the website exchange dot com uh, or um, uh, contact us uh, through emails. I'm sure we've already contacted you on our website or the website, the website exchange.com. Thank you very much.